Mbona umehema? Ongea mzee haraka. Yaani kuna demo alikuwa anapita hapa, ningemsalimia sasa. <laughs> pole 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 mkunaji. Sasa poze vipi <laughs> na I say mama wambo. Now today we're going to talk about size 8 who has finally responded to Willie Paul who accused her of blocking him four years ago after Willie Paul decided to go circular. And we are also going to talk about Zari and Diamond who according to their daughter Princess Tifa are still in love and I think Princess Tifa wants them to get back together. Before I begin I'd like to request you to subscribe to my channel please if you're watching this video subscribe to my channel please like my videos if you like my content please go ahead and like it. And let's start. Now the beef between Willie Paul and Size 8 which surfaced this week after Willie Paul did an Instagram post where he put Size 8 on blast saying that Size 8 four years ago decided to block Willie Paul because he decided to go from gospel to circular. Now Willie Paul who did a video asking why four years later Size 8 has still blocked Willie Paul yet she claims to be a church girl, a religious woman, a Christian woman who should be an understanding individual and a very forgiving especially because Size 8 came from the circular world to the gospel. So I think Willipola Alkonasema, he thought that size 8 of all people would be the one that would understand more of his situation. Although they went on, you know, different directions. Size 8 came from circular to gospel and Willipola went from gospel to circular. Now size 8 has finally come out to respond to Willie Paul and she has said that she blocked Willie Paul because she just wanted peace of mind. She didn't want to eat her beer Willie Paul. As you can see, Willie Paul is squeezy and not a sana. What's up? Kama kawaidi tu ya boy Willie Paul Willie Paul sasa kijana mwenye mapozi. Eh? Anyway, sikia. Eh, so far mmepiga masimu, nyi wasanii wa kukembwa, wa kufunguliwa boot mmenipigia masimu, mmeomba msamaha, nimewasamehe. Na mjio mimi don't give second chances. I'm not God bana, mimi si Mungu. Sawa? Nimewasamehe na msirudi kunikaja. Na mjio lifestyle yangu ni expensive amwezani na haya. Sinaelewa eh? Another thing. Mnanuka mafu Yes, if you can see in such a video, sasa mtu wa mwakoka kama size 8, she has gone from secular to gospel. Alafu wanenda mtandawa na sikia Willie Paul akionge hivo. I think Willie Paul tries to go an extra mile to be vulgar for, you know, no apparent reason. I think gata ulisikia juzi, there is a certain radio presenter said that Willie Paul nowadays is very arrogant. He doesn't like, you know, hachukui simu na kichukua simu. He's very arrogant and hajifanya ni kama hakujui. So I think Willie Paul anakiburi, anataka finywe kidogo. But any Anyway, back to the story, size 8 has come out to say that, yeah, yeah, I can't buy a Willie Paul, but she just didn't want to see what Willie Paul was doing on the other side. Because she came from the other side, Naya Koipa and their gospel, and she just wanted peace of mind. Now, this is what she said on an interview with Ankali Ray. Uh, uh, Haniambie. Uh, Ankali kutoka Milele FM size. Eh, na najua sauti, that's why nasema niambie kaka. Sasa size nimekupigia hapa kuna kaishu kidogo ambaye amenisumbua nikasema acha nikutafute tu size tuimalize hii. Hawana si sipendi umbea, ni umbea una ni. <laughs> yaani mimi sipendi umbea, ni umbea kaka. Kuhusu huyu ili Paul kijana wako. Oh, ndugu yangu ili pose. Eh, hey, amelia ni... umeblock miaka 4, amelia, amelia nikasema acha nikutafute tu size. <laughs> ndugu yangu unajua mimi sina ubaya na wili ni vile yeah. simchukii lakini kusema ukweli eh ile njia wili pola ametukua yeah. eh ama alichukua mimi sitaki kwenda hiyo njia ninachukua na wili pola kama last born sasa mimi nikamwambia we ndugu yangu mimi nakupenda sana kama ndugu yangu ndani ya Kristo tumekuwa mandugu miaka mingi umeamua kuchukua njia ni sawa lakini nikubalishe nisione yale unafanya mimi pia ni dadamu kweli shemshem na sasa nataki kuchukua hiyo njia umechukua kwa hivyo acha nifunge macho zangu kwa yale unafa unayofanya sasa ikabidi ni one follow ile unajua nisifuatilie sana yale anafanya eh kwa sababu unasikia pia uchungu pia ukionaona hata si uchungu sana ni unajua biblia inasema guard your salvation with fear and trembling unafaa kuwa very careful yale unaona kweli sana kwa sababu mimi binadamu nianza ona mambo kesho ni mimi nafanya naweza tamani nikimuona yule kaka yangu anafanya mimi jimbo ina hit sijui nini unaona roho inaweza anza ku kutamani alafu utake kuwapa vidonge tena <laughs> eh e, pia mtake kurudi kuwapa vidonge <laughs> na unajua hiyo dunia iko na lot of temptation yani ina, inavutia majaribu yamejaa 
ya yani usipokuwa makini hiyo hiyo inaweza kuvutia sana hiyo dunia nyingine ile nilitoka mimi si malaika mimi ni binadamu haswa umemblock tu kwenye mitandao ama pia kwenye simu kwa umempiga block pia <laughs> Ah wameongeza chumvi na sukari. Ah kule nimepiga block ni pale Instagram na oh, Facebook. Lakini kama ni simu of course hiyo e, kama si wana shida ama mimi niwe na shida. Yaani ni ndugu na uishi unajua. Ju ndugu yako okay. hata muziki anabaki kuwa ndugu yako unajua. Nikuulize pia kuna mwingine huyu pia umemblock huyu nani Bahati kumpiga ah ah sijampiga block hata wili Paul si block sija block mtu unanielewa unfollow eh hey, ile tu unfollowing not blocking kuachukia kama ni talent wili Paul is very talented hata siongei sana kuhusu bahati hapa sana pia yeye ni, ni ndugu yangu tumeimba injili pamoja lakini pia amekula unfollow pia yeye bahati <laughs> unajua vipi <laughs> eh, tunataka kujua tu ambea si kwa ubaya mimi sina ubaya na mtu ni vile Eh naweza hamasisha watu wote wenye unanisikiza. Yale unaona, kuwa very careful unaona nini. Mimi si judge mtu, Mungu ndio ana judge. Na Matthew 6:22, the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is the darkness? Unanielewa? Kabisa. Hiyo ndio kitu mimi nasimama nayo. Haya shemedia Yes that is what says it said they are misamahano ubaya na Willie Paul she just didn't want to see what Willie Paul was doing on the other side because Willie Paul decided to go from gospel industry the secular industry after size 8 did that interview with Ankali Ray Willie Paul alienda on his Instagram to sort of reply to that interview and I'm going to read what Willie Paul said on his Instagram as a reply to size 8 and I quote my sister size 8 my eyes are closed in this photo If I open them nijipate haujani block nitajua kweli hupendi Mungu. The word of God says forgive na pia usijudge. Right now my life iko in danger naweza finywa any time just because I spoke my mind. Mungu nisaidie wewe ndiyo mfanyikazi wa kweli na wengine ni kasheshe tu baba. Now that is what Willy Paul wrote on his Instagram. Think he was, you know, just trying to be funny and asema size 8 basically I'm one block because I think uh, Willy Paul and his, his relationship with size 8, you know, walikuwa back then in gospel industry they used to collaborate and they used to hang out a lot. And I think when Willy Paul decided to go to the secular industry, na size 8 akasema, you know, because sasa wao mmeamua kwenda ile pande, wacha mimi nikae hii pande na nikae na amani and that's why she blocked him. But personally like I've said in the previous video I don't think he beef yao ni ukweli like hata ukisikiza size eight anasema yeye hana ubaya you know he still loves Willie Paul like a small brother and it's just a, a matter of change Willie Paul nearly change na yeye size eight akaamua acha yeye asichange baki tu pale yako guys tell me in the comment section what do you think about the story do you think size eight anafaa ku unblock Willie Paul ama Willie Paul anafaa kukaa hapo pale yako because pia Willie Paul ana tabia mbaya sana I don't like how vulgar Willie Paul has become. I think he he tries to be extra vulgar for no apparent reason. And I think Nicky Ikiburi yako nayo unasikia watu wanasema because people are saying that Squeezy Willie Paul ni kama ako na kiburi sana. You know it, it's growing pains. Labda in time he will change, maybe he will not, but as for now with the rumors that are going round especially when you kuna a certain radio presenter who came out and said Willie Paul is arrogant. Maybe Willie Paul he needs to humble himself kidogo. But anyway guys tell me what you think in the comment section and let's go to the next story which, which is about Damon Platinum and Zari Hassan. Now Damon Platinum and Zari Hassan who share two children together yesterday raised eyebrows when one of their children Tifa who's their daughter went on Instagram and kind of said that Damon Platinum and Zari Hassan are in love with each other. Now in a video that was posted on Tifa's official Instagram by her mother because obviously you know Tifa herself she's too young to post videos so obviously is of videos Nizari ndio ana post the videos in one of the videos because she posted a series of videos but in one of the last videos Tifa whose Damon's daughter is heard saying that apparently Damon Platinum and Zari are still in love with each other which is a video I found curious because obviously Nizari ameka hiyo video hapo which means Zari intentionally put out the information out there the intention sijui but all we can say in a lot of entertainment because So najua wale wawili Damon and Zari are all about entertainment they like their attention so personally immediately i saw the video 
nilijua tu this is attention that they want but anyway guys watch the video so hi guys today's video cut i'm gonna pray for you so let me pray for all you guys like and subscribe hit the little bell and just comment down below just pretend you're like watching our tiktoks follow our tiktoks put some hearts like please we love you guys pray for yourselves if you don't want to pray for yourselves, we'll pray for you. Love you guys. Let's start the video. But he said you were going to pray. Pray for the people then. Okay. So? Pray. After can I... Just okay. pray for the people, Mom. Can I also do my mm -hmm. friends yeah. at school? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, thank you for my mommy. Thank you for my brother. Thank you for Tanzania. Thank you for... I forgot to say Tanzania. Yeah. Okay, thank you for the dogs. Thank you for my. Hi guys. So I'm, I'm still gonna... awake. Like, I'm not asleep. Over now, so I'm just talking to you guys now. And like, let me tell you about all my mom and my dad in love. <gasps> Nah, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. Talk about something else. <laughs> you know, like you wrapped up. What? <laughs> such a cute little liar. Baba. <laughs> Say goodnight to the people and go. Because now you are talking too okay, much. No, no, no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Baba's crazy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're gonna laugh. I'm laughing already. Let me tell you what Baba did. <laughs> yes, as you can see in the video right there, Princess Stefan asema her dad and Zari are still in love. Alafu unasikia hapo Zari akijaribu kumsimamisha and to me like I said, I find the video funny because we all know that Zari is the one that is running Tifa's account. So ni Zari mwenye ameka hiyo information hapo which means Zari wanted that information out. Ama intention yake ilikuwa ni nini akiaka hiyo video hapo? What is she trying to say? Is she trying to get some controversy and ataka watu waonge? Because you, you know this this guys love Kiki. This guys love attention. We all know Diamond loves attention and and also Zari is the same. We can't act like Zari doesn't love attention. Again, attack on Instagram Zari. You can see that Zari clearly loves the attention that she gets. So when Zari put that video on Tifa's Instagram, she knew that she was going to get a certain level of attention from that video. And I think she achieved it because now people are talking about Kwani Diamond na Zari, what is happening? Or is this why Dark Stallion aliachwa? Because you, you know right now Zari is single. Could this be the reason that Dark Stallion aliachwa kwa mata? That is what a lot of people are saying that maybe this is why Zari decided to break up with Dark Stallion is because, you know, she's trying to rekindle her love for Diamond Platinums. But anyway guys, tell me in the comment section what do you think about the story? Do you think Zari is trying to get back with Diamond Platinums or why do you think that Zari posted that video on Instagram? Because she's the one that posted that video and she knew that your information it will have a certain reaction. People react a certain way especially because it's a child that's saying it. Now mtoi twice isema anything just out of nowhere she has probably seen something somewhere so guys tell me in the comment section what you think about the story and also i'm going to remind you again subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and like my videos if you like my content